will be preparing for FaZe, and FaZe will be preparing for one of them. But first, we've got to find who gets to that lower bracket final. Navi, Vitality. Navi is up one map after demolishing Vitality on Inferno, 16 to 10. Yeah, Vitality on the CT side, Navi on the T side. So as you pointed out, I mean, they're going to be the ones who are going to be dictating some of the pace here. Although Overpass, unlike Inferno, is a map that does allow for a lot more moving around on the CT side. So maybe that will help out Vitality. You better hope so, because otherwise this is going to be real weird. Masuta landing a good headshot, not reloading yet. Back behind the rock, and he almost could have had that second headshot. Perfecto sees this coming and executes Cyborg on entry. So four versus three. And he wants that P250 fight simple. He's ready for it. Hunts him down. It'll be like trying to get the kill, but wow, they are getting picked apart. Now, they are coming where the bomb is. Apex and RPK are actually both here. This could turn around even from this two on four. This could actually be a bit of a chance for Vitality to bring it back. Apex with one more shot, and he's got two more targets left. Well, the CZ and a Glock on Flamey, a two on one. And man, the tough part for Vitality, they didn't even have any teamwork. That was three players going down immediately in one-on-one -on -one battles. They didn't get any teamwork until this very final fight. And Apex is going to try and do some trickery. He knows with a man down, he's going to try and wrap behind them. Will Navi expect this? If they grab the bomb and fall back into bathrooms, there's still 35 seconds, so Navi can afford to be patient and vigilant. And Apex, he's not been spotted yet. Now they know, and now the game is up. Perfecto's going to run. Apex is going to challenge. He's got to swing. He's got to win this fight. And he has. He's found Flamey. A nice headshot, and Perfecto's got no armor. But the Molotov smoke combination is going to be tough to beat. Yeah, definitely will. Oh, he's going to shoot straight away. Now, that will, I mean, maybe give it something away. Perfection has just gone really far away. He can Molotov the bomb from here, but he has a kit. He has to throw it right now. It's already too late. Now he has to go for the shot. One second left, and Apex, what a huge win. He just held it down. Absolute nerves of steel. Well, it's also, on top of those nerves, it's the smart play, because he picked up the kit after the engagement, after the battle. Per, I mean, you have to imagine Perfecto never expected him to have a kit there. That's really unfortunate. Nice win from Apex, though. Yeah. His team needed that. Some kind of life. That's the first CT round they've won in this series. <laughs> oh, man. Some clamps coming out. Yeah, you, I mean, the problem with relying on a Molotov to stop a defuse is that you pretty much have to throw it as they're, you know, on it. If, if they've already been on it for a second, it's not going to kill them. They'll get the defuse in time with the kit, so... Still... Yeah, close round, obviously. AKs, a Galil, and some pistols. And Navi with, a again, a good shot at just bringing this back. And for Vitality to try and forget about that first map, and especially the second half of that first map, they will probably need to go on a bit of a run here. I think for them, it's mentally way more important to, to win a string around, start to feel like this is actually, you know, working for them again. If they get reset right away, yeah, I mean, that is going to really suck, isn't it? Yeah, certainly losing the second round as well would just be so soul-crushing. And there's a real possibility it happens. Two AK-47s and a Galil on Perfecto. Some dangerous weaponry for Na'Vi to have on board. Electronic with one AK out towards long. He's looking for that peak. Shox is lucky to be alive, and Electronic doesn't want to let him get away. A double flash is going to spare Shox. And that's now Simple's turn to step up into action. He knows Shox has moved here. A dink will not slow him down either. Scout shot rings out. Half HP on three players from Navi. He's even ready for that. He's got the follow-up. A miss from Electronic. Oh! Zaiwu just puts down Simple and Electronic, and that might have saved the day. Yeah, 10 seconds on the clock here for the bomb to try and be planted. Flamey gets the one here, and he's actually picked up the bomb in the meantime, but coming up from behind is Apex, and one bullet did it. What a close round. Man. Really costly for Vitality, but they managed to win it. I think in large part due to Saibu and the scout. This shot is great. Yeah, that follow-up onto Simple is brutal. Good to see Zaiwu flex a little bit early on in this map. Two to nothing. Navi not able to get a second plant. And they'll be back. Some pistols upgraded, though.
Yeah, they do a bit more here. One of them is going to run in to Saiwood there at the playground. And Shocks far up with an MP9. Only real target would be Electronic, who's sneaking out there. Bomb is quite far back, and I think Navi are just spending a bit of time hoping for a free kill for some aggression. There's no reason why Vitality should be very aggressive in this round, though. So, I don't know. that They're going to have to give up that hope at some point and actually come look for them. Yeah, I mean... This, this is, again, this is an economy building round for Vitality. Any loss they take is just brutal. Nice flank from Shox, although even better awareness from Electronic. Now they have an isolated player they can go attack. It's still going to be hard to take him down. Flamey forces him back into the open. And not even the cleanup. Good drive-by from Shox, and look at this mobility. He's playing it so well. Finally does fall, but he gave himself a chance to get out of a tough spot. It's up to Simple now to provide some economic damage. Yeah, and he had a bit of an opportunity, but not really much of one. Electronic low on health, Eagle at range, and he can't do much. So, good recovery. That helps Vitality make up for the last round where it was a one-on-one. -on -one. But now comes the real test. Let's see if there's a reason early on here that Navi picked the map, if we could uh, start to get a sense for their level of preparedness going into round number four. Open play. And at the moment, Sharks and Sai were being really aggressive out here. They can't really help each other out. I mean, Sharks is, is alone, essentially, Ooh. even though Sai was nearby. Oh, he's got so much information. This is going to be so rough. And obviously, I mean, at this at this stage in the round, at a minute and 25 seconds, you don't want to press the flank. You want to just keep the information and keep the retreat, keep them boxed in. But, man, the Vitality, all these B defenders, it's not so much they've been able to cheat anyone over. It's that the B defenders know exactly where Navi is, all lined up outside of this bomb site, So they're always ready to go, always ready for a fight. Pop, flash, peek, even the pre-fire from Apex. He wanted the intel. It's the go sign. Perfecto gets baited into it, and the Molotov splits the attack. Well done from Vitality, and RPK holds down Monster. And now they just smoke it off. Even a little bit of a dink on Electronic. He's gonna go down Shocks, the man who set him up with all this information. Back in it for a kill, and he will be able to close the round. And I think you're absolutely right. It And it is, it's just like, obviously when you're playing that B-bomb side, you have some internal image of what the, what the incoming attack looks like. And it helps when you can when you get a call in from a teammate saying, well, we know for sure they're all going to be either on that side or maybe in the connector. That's the most they can do. But Simon was watching the connector from all the way back at the A-bomb site. So, yeah, brilliant stuff. Oh, Apex. Ooh. I want to know what he said. He said he said some cool stuff. He said some cool things in that in that little exchange. I could feel it. Said. It must be the, the French. So why it felt we get powerful the, and emotional. Why couldn't we get these CT signs on in front of guys? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Zaiwu is down. Shox is exposed. And he's certainly going to be traded. Uh-oh. Apex now pushed up. It's his turn for the battle. And he's going to be traded as well. A three on two. The problem for Vitality is there's a minute and ten seconds on the clock. Navi can go anywhere. Yeah, nearly a fight there, but Masuta is going to get dropped. And, you know, from celebrating a, a good defense in that last round to pushing so aggressively and then not being able, like, who, no one helped each other there. They were just all getting picked apart one at a time, even though they were essentially three people pushed up aggressively. That's that's not really cool. Yeah, it, it was curious. I was not expecting Apex to be there because I, I just I just assumed that that kind of a battle that there wouldn't be a third person just sitting back and chilling. Regardless, Vitality going to drop the round. They have a they have a good amount of money, especially RPK saving this weapon. Apex has you know probably what nine thousand six hundred after this round ends. So they've got they've got plenty of cash, but this is certainly going to dig into their savings. Navi's on the board, three rounds back. And a good round to win with mostly just Tech 9s and P250s and a Deagle brought in.
Yeah, a bit of a worrying sign, to be honest, though. I mean, just that's not a round you should be giving uh, up there. Four to one, and uh, Navi, see if that's the round that's going to make them take off. It's... <laughs> why is Boomer why is Boomer just... Why is he sideways? <laughs> he's, I mean, he's, he's in I'm a rocket station. <laughs> He's ready to take off. <laughs> <laughs> that was... We're in mission control here. Just need that terminal He looks like velocity. he's in like a... He looks like he's in like a Counter-Strike monastery. It was just like the, the PC and like blank walls. One picture. Like you were afforded no comforts. You just much... You just must study and learn Counter-Strike for years on end. <laughs> oh my god. I like that. The that brings me back to my younger days. The problem is, though, as much as you could think, well, it's four to one. Like, yeah, they let go of a round. They can still buy. It's just that 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 is opening the door to Navi. And the longer you could postpone doing that, the better. At least let them fight for it. Don't let them have it in a round with just tech nines. I, I don't mind that they're playing aggressive out there, but I don't still understand why they got picked off without being able to help each other. That really worries me. Flamey. Didn't want to pull the trigger, but looked like he had the right idea. And he's back for more. Apex will take him down, though. That's got to be a bit frustrating. Oh, well, again, another situation. Perfecto could have sung with him, but at least got the trade. Uh, Flamey had the sense. He had the pre-aim that that boost was coming. And even being flashed off the angle, that should be like the, the confirming play from Vitality to let you know that boost is, is going to be there when you re-peak. Just couldn't land the headshot. Perfecto playing a dangerous game. If he comes through this quietly, RPK is going to go down. Masuta up next, but Perfecto cannot transfer over. Simple. The next opportunity. Bomb right in front of him. But he knows he's surrounded, and they got to save. 15 seconds on the clock. There's just no time to work with. And Electronic being able to drop an AK-47. Flamey being able to buy himself. They'll be right back into it, but Vitality back to the winning. Yeah, that actually goes a long way to um, to appease me. I might be might be thinking about forgiving them for that previous round. Now that they picked this one up, only losing one guy, that makes uh, makes me a little bit more happy. I'm sure that's gonna. I'm sure your forgiveness is gonna give them a lot of a lot of comfort. They're like, ah, thank thank God. Yeah, Anders is is a. I like to think that makes God. a difference. <laughs> well. <laughs> Only for a minute here. Let's 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 not call it too soon. Seventh round. But this is obviously a, a much better start. This is Navi's map pick, so the fact that Vitality are doing a little bit better here. Ooh, ooh, that is a grenade. Yeah, that's. I think that was two grenades, wasn't it? it might it, have been. If it was. Either way, it does about a hundred damage. Uh, I mean, they were thrown right I on I heard top two of each explosions. other. I think one. Uh, I think Moden might have missed or been a little at a different spot, maybe. I don't know. Could be wrong. It's entirely possible. Either way, a lot of damage dealt is, is, the, is the moral of that story. Good spam. Almost takes out Apex. If a little bit luckier, those land on the head. And just a default setup for Navi at the moment. They still have one player, Electronic, kind of investigating towards Picnic. And Perfecto is assisting him What's in getting doing? this position safely. For a minute there, they only had RPK in the B-bomb site for reasons that I can't even begin to dream of. Because they had two people out on long, so... Looked like they were about to rotate everyone to the A-bomb site. Still might be in trouble down here at B. Now, they're starting to get Masuta down here to help out, but... This is not done yet. Shark's excellent flank. He's so active. Turns around and does some damage to Perfecto, but the clock says... 35 seconds, and they need to go through this. There's two people waiting inside of the smoke here, and if they win this battle, it's done with... Oh, they're running back. They're hearing it, surely, with the kill on Flamey. They know what's coming next. They've just heard Simple make the run to Connector, and Saibu's up here with the AWP. If he gets a kill, it's done. He misses a fairly easy shot there. It's gonna be, still be trouble. 17 seconds. The flashbang to buy more time, and I think Na'Vi have not left themselves enough to actually get this fight through. Boomage is gonna be going down, and Simple... He's going to miss the opportunity. That is a great round out of Vitality, even though there were moments there where it looked like it was really going to backfire. Well, I think they had the right read. They might have just been calling it <laughs> a little bit too early in the round. They felt like that was going to be an attack towards the A-bomb site, and Navi just can't get anything going. They're getting decent map control, but then they're sitting and waiting for it, and part of it is Vitality, just utility usage. Every time you see map control for Navi, 
at a choke point, there's just a smoke in their face for a very long time. So the utility usage here for Vitality is quite nice. And Navi are going to have to find a way to aggressively break through that, but they can't just sit back and wait. Flashbang out to force Zaiwu off. And Electronic with this space towards long, I would like to see him. If I mean, he's obviously got to be a little bit cautious. He doesn't have the same information that we do, but he's actually, I say he's going to be cautious, but he's not really checking anything. He's not even, uh, he's not, assuming no one's ever going to peek him at long. What a shame. That's a cool play from Electronic. Yeah, That's still went like down. rolling the dice. <laughs> and he's just saying, if Zaiwu is here, I die. If not, cool. Yeah, but I actually think that's a... It's a play that's even cooler when you're playing on, on a map like Overpass where the distances are that great. Um, I'm even almost a little bit surprised that Sharks didn't just swing into the lane that he actually sort of shoulder peeked it and, and, and baited out the shot because that would have been so understandable if he had just, you know, gone for it and said, well, no one's going to be here at, you know, this early, early hour. Oh, what a great shot from Apex. Unfortunate even that he almost couldn't get the transfer. What a great sequence that would have been. Boomich is going to even move up further. Electronic still hasn't budged out towards long, but zaiwu has got to start investigating. Now sees the utility, and he knows the hit is on. Yeah, backup is needed, but it's not coming. He misses, I think, the one chance he had of doing anything at the bomb side. If he could have got that kill, maybe he could have swung for Electronic at long, but yeah. No second shots are allowed. Good round from Navi. That's uh, that's well done. I'm glad they got that round as well because they got the opening pick, and it, it would have been a shame if they let this round slip out of their hands with a five-on-four advantage. Again, even after getting that pick, they're just kind of slowing it down and waiting, and Vitality's not giving them any mistakes. Six to two, a good four round lead for Vitality with a healthy economy as well. They're going to have to dig into that, so it's going to look uh, much, much weaker after this after this next buy. And Navi looking for that reset in the later stages of the half. Round eight is done with. 11 kills on Apex to lead for Vitality. It's it's six kills on Electronic is the top fragger for Navi. Simple is at two, Flamey is at two. I think Chad was saying on the analyst test during the break that Navi just seems sometimes to be like a, a T-side team. And if that's going to be true on this map as well, well, I didn't even realize that's how they got the opening kill on Misuta. That's ridiculous. But um, but if it's going to be true on this map too, then yeah, you could be a bit concerned now for Navi. The fact that it's 6-2, that their economy is not that great. Vitality still have a little bit of money in the bank even after this round. So... They need to need to get into this uh, game right now. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> it's so stupid. Ugh. Listen, this half doesn't begin until Navi gets the it doesn't break Vitality's economy. Yeah. Let me start that again. This half doesn't begin until Navi breaks Vitality's eco economy. That sounded better. Yeah, it's rough with the double negatives in those sentences. I just, I can't figure that out, Jason. It's. It's too much. I think the double negative even made that not mean what I wanted it to mean. So that's why I had to start over. Oh, it's, you needed triple negatives weird. or something like that. Listen. <laughs> I'm glad all you just the started negatives. over. <laughs> I just, I can't believe Shocks recovered from essentially wandering into a electronics crosshair. They're outside of the sewers, and Boomich is up by the restrooms. He's going to be making his way back, making a lot of noise in the process. I don't think that's necessarily that smart, but anyway, they're going to go all in for this particular bomb site. Apex and RPK down by the uh, wall there by the monster tunnel. Flashbang to set it up, but RPK can't really be flashed in that position, and he's just waiting for someone to walk through. 24 seconds. Here comes the flank in, though. Good headshot from RPK, and Flamey patiently waiting. If he would have led that charge, it would have completely folded, but what a, an incredible recovery here from Navi. Attacking the right bomb side and yeah, trading this... evenly into it. Yeah, and especially with a man down situation. This has worked absolutely beautifully. And with the money the way it is, they're going to have to save. Shox was past the AWP so that he could remain passive, and Simple's going to find him anyway. So zaiwu has got to go pick that up. Probably risk the crosshair of Simple, or wait till late in the, uh, in the bomb blast or the bomb timer. 
Third round for Navi, and now they're fighting back, and they're getting closer to that full-blown reset. It'll be interesting to see what Vitality do. I imagine we're going to get a timeout from Vitality in this next round, because they're going to have, what, maybe maybe two to three rifles, but they've got to figure out exactly how they want to play this one to make sure that they can, if they want to force buy into this round. Ooh, well, he's going to get the orb time. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe just have a round where you play for Saibu to be aggressive with the orb and get kills, and then have the rest of the team make sure he doesn't lose it. Sort of, I mean, RPK could buy a little bit, drop some pistols or something. I don't know if I'd want to f... I don't know. See, that's that's why I think there's going to be a timeout, and I'm kind of surprised we don't have it yet, because so unless the Vitality just decides to full full save, some deagles picked up, but... You know, there, there could have been, I think, uh, you know, Zaiwu could have dropped one. I think uh, RPK could have bought his own rifle, and you could have had, you know, a four-rifle buy. Thing is... But they just decided to save it. 6-3, yeah, that would have been... If, I mean, if you force up here, that's a lot. That's a big part of the half at risk. Do you need anything else but Zaiwu on the AWP? I guess that's the question that we're about to get answered here. He's already got the one kill. Grenades are raining in. He's trying to turn around in case there's a flashbang. There's a second one. Oh, and a third on top, and Apex with the headshot. And the answer is clear. Just Saibu with the AWP is all you need. He's going to get the last one to a disgusting quad kill to steal the round away from Na'Vi. Yeah, but that's that's also a very weak rush. It seemed like Na'Vi got very surprised to see the op at that B bomb site, and nobody wanted to challenge. There was not a single real attempt at a trade in that push. Here we go, one, there's seconds. There's seconds between each shot. Yeah. He has plenty of time to get into a new position. And the stack for Vitality works. That was the opening Navi needed to run up a good score on this T side as well. That was Vitality with one op and all pistols. Yeah, that, I mean, again, that's not a round they should be losing. And I agree, but there were a lot of grenades that were thrown into the bomb site, and none of them seemed to affect Saibu in any way. I think all the flashbangs landed behind him, no, no smoke tour in front of him. And as you said, the, the spacing between them actually fighting him was long enough that he could... I think the third kill, maybe there was a chance that he was going to go down, but... We'll see. Shock's right on top of Perfecto. You can shoot through the ceiling or the floor here. In case people don't know. <laughs> it's never ever been relevant. You know now. And it never will be, but... <laughs> I but you can't do it. Well, we appreciate having you around to check those kinds of useless things. Oh, this is not ideal. Two players. Oh, good fight from Apex. Awkward for Boomich and Perfecto's gonna wander right back into the crosshair. He has no idea that Shox knows everything. Oh. Don't know. Oh, oh, this dear. is real awkward. He could get right, caught off as well. He's just going to make it around the corner. But that is... He's actually gone back for it. Is he crazy? 25 seconds. There's I a really that. heavily defended B bomb side. I don't think they can make it through. There's so little time. Any mistake coming out of the monster tunnel and the round is done. 18 seconds on the clock now. Flashbang. I don't know how that doesn't flash him, but... The Molotov will force him just into the smoke. 10 seconds on the clock, and this is a Navi round if I've ever seen one. Perfecto's gonna be going down. <laughs> Seven seconds, and the bomb is dropped on the side. They're trying to pick it up, and Simple doing his absolute best, but they are gonna run out of time. It had to happen sooner or later. I think, I think Electronic died after the time as well, so he's only got $1,800. He did not get the losing bonus for that round. That's... that's harsh. That one hurts. What a good hold. Truly. Shocks with that position, that re-aggression towards the top of the staircase allows him to have a fast flank, and Vitality's off and running. And look at Apex. Ooh. You love to see that in the little mountain villa. He's fired up, yeah. There's a, I'm really... there's a whole adventure in my brain about Apex and his life up there, and just like... I, I almost don't want to know what it's like. It's going to spoil the, you know, the illusion. I know. I don't... Reality is far less interesting than the image that I've conjured in my brain as well. 8-3, to three, and Apex is leading the way. Man, he's having a good series. He was playing well on Inferno also. And you go back to yesterday, the series he had was magnificent. He's, uh, he's hitting a very nice individual level. And he's got Vitality playing at a very nice team level. Yeah, those are grenades, by the way, that have almost killed Boomich and Electronic. But you're right, I'm... 
I'm actually so impressed. Again, Apex has just been known for his whole career as as a really proficient, uh, I, you know, I guess entry fragger. Him and Freiburg for a long time was, you know, there's discussion between which of them was doing a better job at any one given uh, month. I guess the tendency is in game, or sorry, the entry entry fragger is you're you're going to have good good weeks and bad weeks and. I think between the two of them, they were sort of juggling for uh, for at least best in Europe for a little while. And who would have thought that he could come back as an actual, you know, s currently top fragger and in-game leader, like really late in his career as well. I just think that's, no one could have called that. Yeah, although we've seen more players try and transition into being an in-game leader, right? And there's there's been some decent surprises that we've had. Obviously, Alex had to do it at some point in, in his career. And actually, even when he was a part of Vitality, didn't have the longevity, but I liked his calling a lot. Yeah. Um, obviously, Please. Nitro has done it for Team Liquid. Just a general shortage of people with in-game leading experience has, has led to these players having to try and make that role work for them. And it's rare that we see such a nice success story. And at least for the moment, Apex is indeed a success story. Perfecto and Flamey going to gather what weapons they can. And just back off and let the round expire. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else they really would have done. Um, I don't think this is, this is not unreasonable. But it will make it 9-3. You know, it's maybe... You know, it's maybe the, the most interesting part about Apex as an in-game leader. Is he's very, uh, he's very emotional. Yeah. As we all know from seeing clips of him like celebrating his faces, his frustration, he, he goes through a wide range of emotions during a game, which I think if you, if you like, you know, just in theory wanted to pick an in-game leader, you'd want someone who is a little bit more like emotionally stable, a little bit more rational and logical. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's true. I, don't, I, I wonder how much is, you know, just on his face and just that way and how much he's able to control it, uh, you know, when it comes to actually giving out the calls. Uh I mean, I'll say this, a career as an entry fragger for the past five years has probably hardened his mental focus and fortitude to, where, to the point where it doesn't matter what kind of face and what kind of emotional swings he's going through. Yeah, you'd hope so. Maybe we'll get some insight into some of that one of these days. More damage with grenades there as Electronic and Perfecto do drop fairly low. They want to hit this B-bomb site. Um, there's three people waiting inside. They're going to swing the corner. They're going to go for it right now. RPK hearing them in the back. Good flashbang in for him to get the kill. And it's looking good for the defense here. A two on two as Perfecto will finally get that kill on Misuta. But he's low on health. Simple with the AWP. Can they get that bomb hunt down before anyone else shows up? It's shocks on a really long flank with the M4A1. And Saiwu on the other side with the AWP. See, setting up a smoke down there. Let's see if Shox is going to be able to get the one kill they probably need to make this work. And Simple is back looking at him. Oh, the Molotov is forcing him back. That almost did it. Well, now there's a grenade on Perfecto. Oh, He's no. dead. Simple is in such an awkward corner down here. He's got nowhere to stand. Shox running up behind him into the fire. That's a nice play. And that is going to be the round in their favor with the kit and everything. Tenth round on the board. That takes some great coordina coordination and trust in that two-on-one to come through the flames like that if you're shocks. Yeah. Good job from Zaiwu also following up up the ramp as well. Simple can only take one shot before he goes down. It was going to be one or the other. I once, um, so once had a tournament down in Cologne back in 15, I think, where, um, where Apex, I can't remember what lineup he was playing at at the time. Was it like LDLC? I don't know. Anyway, um, he... He had a really dreadful first map, and, I, and he took, he, like, his team went outside to talk out, and he just stayed on his own, like, away from the team just to mentally focus, and he came back and had, like, a really great second map. I just remember, I just remember that in my mind as someone who's, like, really focused on individually getting back in. Now, just as we're praising him, he does get flashed and taken down, so. <laughs> Classic. But, uh, but yeah, I always thought that was interesting. Like, you know, I think he takes his own role or his own responsibility in, in this game pretty seriously. Yeah, he's he's such a cool character to talk about in the, in the context of pressure. I remember the first actual conversation I had with him about Counter-Strike as well over at E-League at the old W Hotel. And I remember not thinking that he would have any kind of great Counter-Strike knowledge. And when I sat and talked with him for one hour, it was it was wild. I was just like, oh, my God, you you actually really know what you're talking about. I didn't agree with everything, but he had a great understanding and thought process. Great double kill from shocks and bathrooms. Simple's gonna trade him off. Into a three-on-three three we go, but look at the pressure being applied. 
And the question is, can Navi exploit this? They're trying to catch them on the fallback, at least one player, but they both make it back to the B bomb site. However, they think Navi's gonna press forward towards A, and they might get caught off guard. Vitality's playing retake oh. at this B bomb site, just Masuta over towards Graffiti. He's gonna have to let them into the bomb site, and now he's committed behind it in towards water. Yes, he is. They're gonna swing around. Oh, actually, he's a little bit further back now. This could get real interesting. He's got some backup here now. RPK is not that far away, could try and do something. Is Saibu as well going to pick up Perfecto? And now it's simple alone and he's got no chance. Nice defense yet again, 11 to 3. This is a lead that Vitality surely can't give up the way that they did on Inferno. There's You'd no certainly hope not. Uh, no one in no one in Navi is even in double digits, Anders. Yeah. Like, no one is even showing that they can bring this back. I have real concerning now for Navi. Oh. Alright. Looks like they just want to hit the B bomb side. But it hasn't really been working, but it's like, let's let's go. No wasting any time. Rushing through. Great flashbang, but Apex, what? I can't believe it. He still hit two headshots. He should have been absolutely dead. We are gonna need to see a replay. It's Misutra and RPK to follow it up, but that looked that looked utterly impossible. It's gonna be they kind of all went missing, Jason. I don't see a comeback happening here. No, I don't either, but I don't I don't see it as Navi went missing. I see it as Vitality. I mean, this is the same Vitality we had in that first half on Inferno. They came back into this and just refreshed, ready to go. A very good CT side, not a whole lot of mistakes that I noticed from Vitality. And it all started with that pistol round. The sticking of the defuse sent a message to Navi, and they never really recovered from it. Simple. Waiting around the edge of that smoke. Oh, he lands nothing. He lands nothing at all. 58 HP. Electronic as well. In a battle for his life. Finally, Simple finds one close up. Ten bullets remaining. And look at this movement. Look at where he's found himself. Shox has no idea. He's about to assassinate the French legend. And Simple with a double kill and three. Maybe that gets him fired up because Simple has been absent from this series. I, I don't know how he even lives through that. Uh, just as they're shooting through the smoke, you would have thought he would have been dead. There was a fight out on Long as well that was really awkward between Electronica and whoever it was that was out there. So, I, this could have backfired, but what a return. Nice sequence from Simple. That at least gets them, well, that's the fourth round that they pick up. Gives them a chance here. Simple has uh, 24 kills in this series so far in three halves of play. And I mean, that's, I guess it's not awful for, you know, the average player, but for someone who's been the best in the world for essentially, you know, best or second best for like three years running, this has been a quiet day for him. And if they want to make a comeback here, especially at this eight bomb site, he's going to need to deliver. And now you start to see him get aggressive on this CT side, pushing up. Finding a kill in bathrooms, now rotating around to help his teammate. He does eventually fall, but Electronics here to pick up the pieces. Yes, he is. Bit of a jump to get the information. He knows Shox is around there somewhere. And the main thing here is just not losing anyone else. And stopping the bomb plot too, I guess. So that's all going to be fine. 12 to 5. Now is the buy round for Vitality. We'll see. There are so many options on this map to, to go for. I feel like we didn't get to see many of them out of Navi. It was just sort of a... You know, a lot of shuffling around and then back to the B-bomb side, you know, a bunch of attacks that never really went anywhere, but I think they, there's a lot more you could do. I'm sure Vitality are going to show us uh, some of it. Let's find out. I mean, a lot of it simple. Pop flash peak, one kill. And does he choose to fall away? He's sticking around for the follow-up, hoping to catch someone off guard, but it's three players of Vitality booking it down long. Let's see if Electronic is going to overpeak it if he goes to look long. He did it here really quickly. He does jump. So that is a safe way of doing it and get the information that they've run this whole way. All right. Well, that's going to slow down the round quite a bit. They probably would have loved to have... If he'd sort of swung into the fight Electronic, they would have obviously kept running and, and just tried to see if they could do it, but... Still a minute left for them to go back to the B-bomb site. 
look at look at Flamey's position. He's pushed up towards sandbags. I think uh, maybe Electronic called out numbers or simple herd numbers, but he's given the call over to Flamey. So a bit of an early warning system. And Boomich should start to fall back towards that beat bomb site now. The timing is there. Electronic is going to go investigate long. He sees absolutely nothing in this hit. Perfecto is going to be the first point of contact. Molotov in hand. Nade to follow it up. Flashbang's going to run deep. Nice crossfire. Flamey gets blinded. But Perfecto is there, and it actually still works, even though one player was taken out. Shocks and Apex in a two on four, now three. When that boost reveals that two of the people are there, they can probably guess the last one is up on the high ground. Smoked off for the minute. This is such a close round. It'll go in the way of Na'Vi, but that's really expensive and could have got out of control. Still, 6 to 12. Yeah, and look at, look at Simple now. 16 kills for him, 14 for Electronic. That deadly duo is back. They seem a little bit more engaged in the early stages of this second half. Six rounds back is Navi. Real interesting. Still a, a real long road to get back into it. I think what really stopped that attack more than anything from, from Vitality is the fact that there was a Molotov on the ramp that they sort of had to stop and fight inside of, and that just that did a lot of damage as they were trying to get around the corner. Now it's Deagles all across the board for the French side. So let's see what we can get. We all we all love some one digs. Well, electronic gonna be challenged Ooh. first up. He's pretty quick to react. Comes back for more, and Masuta takes him down. So trades. 75 damage though to Apex and Masuta as well. They're kind of fortunate that wasn't just double up. But nice aggression. Still a minute and 10 seconds to work with. Simple has the AWP at the A bomb site, and he's looking for anything at distance and close up. Two players at A, two players at B. There's plenty of utility, actually, for Vitality. Now that they have this AK-47 on Zaiwu, they can use, I mean, three smokes. They can use one to get close. They can have a pretty decent set piece onto this A bomb site. Yeah, that would be interesting. I mean, it's going to have to be Shox or Cyber who are leading some of the charge here. If they get the bomb down, even the Deagles on Masuta and Apex, even low on health, could do something. 35 seconds, and they're going to start to make their way a bit closer. Here's the early attack, and it's Saibu to get the leading kill, taking down Simple Boomich now. A couple of angles for him to hold, and he's not ready for Saibu to get the second one in there. So now it's a two on three. The bomb is going to be going down, and this is actually a great turnaround for Vitality. They have another smoke that they've just put up here, blocking off the stairs, and a couple of flashbangs too. I don't know if Na'Vi are going to have a great shot at doing this. They might, again, want to save the rifles here. I think even if they save, the whole team is going to save. So you might as well, in my mind, go for this. The problem is no smokes. Now, if they can get the AWP and just fall back, which might be possible, perhaps that's a win in and of itself. But for the moment, they're going to investigate. Tap the bomb. Good pop flashes from Vitality. Look at the scramble. And now they have to stri start trying to fall back. Good, good shot from Shox. Flamey's going to get away with an AK-47, and that's it. 13th round for Vitality. And that, I mean, the kind of comeback that Navi were able to do on Inferno, it it was uninterrupted, right? They just kept winning, winning round after round. But the fact that Vitality already pick up uh, their first T round here in the fourth round, and with just pistols is, or mostly pistols, is really annoying, obviously. So um, I guess they did have old eagles at the beginning, yeah. So that's going to be frustrating, and that's going to make probably make Navi feel like this might not be the same kind of thing at all. Well, it now forces Navi to also, like, win two rounds in a row to burn through the Vitality economy. They got some free upgrades. You know, Apex and Zaiwu both sitting at, you know, well, $5,000 and $6,000 in the bank because they got the free upgrades to an op in an AK-47. So they're going to be they're gonna be plenty happy. Yeah, this comeback is going to be way more difficult, especially when you when you talk about on Inferno, the comeback happened on the T side. And they were they were able to constantly take bomb sites so quickly that Vitality just never went for a retake. This is entirely different. The pressure is on now. 20th round, three more rounds for Vitality, and they will be picking up the map. 
picked by Navi, and I don't know, I'm hasn't really hasn't really been proven to me yet exactly what the plan was in picking the map. I feel like I feel like maybe they just weren't ready for for Vitality to have such a good CT side. No, I mean, picking this map, they, they obviously definitely thought they were going to have a better T-side, especially after the half they had on Inferno on the T-side. They had to have just been thinking, oh, our offense is rolling, our calling is good, our entries are good. And, I mean, they just got they got stumped here. This is, a, this is a really good performance out of Vitality. So far, at least. So far, so good. Navi's forced up. They have no money after this buy. Everything is here on round 20. If they lose this... I mean, it's a save most likely for Navi, and then Vitality at 14 rounds has an easy path to the victory. Everyone relocating back outside of B. Shox is holding down Monster Tunnel, and they can just walk through for a contact play. One pop flash perhaps over the wall, and we'll see if Perfecto can pull onto it. He's the close one, and no, not even a flashbang. They do it secretly. Navi never had a warning, and this should be round 14 for Vitality. It even makes so much sense for, 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 for Perfecto to be playing anti-flash there. Ooh, good lineup for Boomage. Big double. Bomb is going to be attempted on the other side here. Electronic, he would love to sneak around. They actually fake it a single time, and no one's there to try and fight them. But Electronic, he could actually win the round right here. There's the big fight, and he goes down anyway. Unbelievable. Simple out in the open, and he's going to get dropped by Saibu. That was a real chance there for Na'Vi to steal the round back. I actually thought they had that, but Electronic swinging against it. 14 to 6 though. Yeah, Electronic had the had the, the the high level play. That was perfect. A great way to put that into a two on one, prevent the bomb plant as well, and Simple can play that completely differently, but it's not to be. 14 to 6, no money for Navi, but they're still gonna force up three CZs, a Deagle, and SMG on Flamey. Tunnel. Oh, nice spree, catching a headshot on Perfecto. Shox is also holding the sewer here, so he's going to catch some of the rotation, trying to help out at that B-bomb side. Flamey, yeah, no reload allowed. Boomich did a great job last time, but this time it's with the CZ 75, and he's not going to be able to get it done. So if he'd got the kill and stayed alive, maybe this flank from Simple could have done a bit more, but it will be a bomb plant here, and certainly it's going to be a 15th round coming in here from Vitality. This, this time it seems like nothing could stop them. Don't jinx it. Nice shot from Zaiwu. 15 to 6. Nine round lead. Nine chances to close out this second map. And take us on to Nuke, which would get very interesting. I love Nuke. We should, uh, should all be happy that uh, we're going to get a chance to see it here. All right. They're laughing now. They're having a great time. They're actually enjoying this, uh, f finally. We're looking at uh, a bit of a sad version of Vitality, but not so on this one. Ooh, they just want to do it again. They want it to end right here. Good grenade, and they peek right behind it again. No warning, no flashbangs or anything. <laughs> They're just dead on the ramp. Flamey first to go. Boomage next in line, and Perfecto is going to get dropped. What a knockout punch from Vitality. They are done with this map. Dude, the, I mean, that's not a knockout punch. That's a knockout sequence. This is three back-to-back-to-back yeah. -to -back -to -back rounds of that B bombsite just walking in. Apex has just delivered quite a sequence. 15 to 6, about to be 16 to 6. Two on five. And Electronic has an AWP. There's no kit. Simple is down. And Vitality.